I am currently climbing up G Loop in Ely, Nevada. And this view is well worth the climb. Hey everyone, I'm Paul. Welcome to my channel where I'll be bringing you mountain biking content. I've made a two-year commitment to myself, but a two-year commitment to uh, create videos to see if I have what it takes to make an entertaining channel for you to watch. So if you want to uh, follow along, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that uh, you can. Um, two years is quite a long time, I, I think, to looking ahead right now. It's quite a long time to say that I'm going to be creating videos, but uh, uh, I figure the worst thing is that I become the laughing stock, and uh, I I really don't care about that. What I do care about, though, is the uh, awesome views that we have, and I want to bring you along. So let's get it. Okay, we are dropping into our first little descent here. See how this trail's riding. This is my first time on G Loop this year. A lot of people have been riding it. Oh, people had some problems there. Wiped out that section of the trail. <clears throat> Heard us riding good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I messed up that section of the trail for other people. <laughs> Oh, it's so deep that it's a really soft landing up here. <laughs> oh, I really don't want this to be a wrecking video. <laughs> Seems like anytime I get on my fat tire and ride in the snow, I'm wrecking. You guys might want it to be a wrecking video. Wow. Slippery. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow. Look at that view. <laughs> Take the topic off the over the bars hop. <laughs> Okay, so this might be a wrecking video, people. It is not as easy as it looks to go fast on a fat tire. It's like an 18 inch trail. Oh yeah, that's cool. This section's running real nice. Just as soon as I say that though, I'm gonna pop through, go over the bars. <laughs> it's the uh, first week of February. And it's warm. Today it's supposed to get into the 50s. So, I don't know how long these trails are gonna stay good. So I figured I better get out on the fat tire again. I've only ridden the fat tire a handful of times this year. All right, a little bit of a climb. Can you see this?
there's my hand there's the track <laughs> that my friends is not a puppy dog <laughs> lots of animals are using these groom trails that is cool <laughs> that <laughs> if you know what that is it's probably pretty obvious if you know what it is put it in the comments <laughs> this is cool Let's get going here. Ooh, the branch is right there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a sick descent right here. I hope it's not soft. Woo! A little slidey, but not soft. Hold me up. Yes! This is running awesome! <laughs> Holy cow! Oh man! I don't know why I haven't been riding. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I haven't been riding this trail all winter long. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is an awesome section right here. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, little tacky bit, and I got a punchy climb here. Oh, yeah. Woo. Ah, that's deep. You can't put your foot down. <laughs> you put your foot down, you just sink. Luckily, I caught my balance there before I dumped completely over. <laughs> yes. I don't know who wouldn't enjoy something like this. It is a lot of work. And it takes a little bit of endurance build up to get to where you can ride long distances but it's totally worth it you need a solidly groomed trail in order to make this even possible so you either got to pack it in with tires with boots snowshoes or a trail groomer what uh, is used on this trail which is the ultimate. Riding through the trees after seeing big tracks. <laughs> I would never worry about it. Tracks like that, I wouldn't even pay attention. It's just, I used to have dogs and so, it's just, I'm just used to paying attention to stuff like that. 
these cats here get chased so much that you don't have to worry about it. Whereas in like California and Oregon, you're a little bit less afraid of people. So we're nearing the bottom of this uh, trail here. And this is totally worth riding, totally worth riding. So at the beginning of the year, I set a goal to <clears throat> make uh, 52 videos for this year. And uh, I started thinking about it and I'm like, well, 52 videos, if I'm committed to doing that, I might as well do 100 videos and space it over the course of two years. So I figured, okay, that's my goal. And then, started thinking about it and there's some stuff that I plan on doing where I might be uploading more than one video per week depending on uh, how long the segment is. Anyways, that's my plan. So it'll be easier, easy to do uh, more than 50 videos a year. So I decided two year commitment with a minimum of 100 videos. And there's 52 weeks in a year. So if I miss four weeks in the two years, I'll be all right. But on the other hand, if I have four or five videos in one week, that can be posted, then that'll be uh, a bonus. And I'll have more than 100. Or be able to take a week or two off if I need to. Oh. So with the content that I plan on creating, it's gonna be based around riding trails, obviously, what I've been doing. And then I'm gonna do some how-tos, some uh, maybe some reviews, even though I don't necessarily wanna go that route that's pretty soft there I don't want to be a, a major reviewer like I don't want that to be the only aspect of my channel I want my channel to reflect what I like doing that's writing writing and creating content I've always been interested in it so I'm pretty excited for this adventure all right, good climb. <clears throat> and it is soft here. And this is a kind of the tail end of the trail where it's all mixed in with a little bit of climbing and a little bit of downhill. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit like and uh, so it can spread to other people that would enjoy this type of stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.